In California, you can now be fined and jailed for using the wrong pronouns for residents in senior care centers. Proponents say it's limited to only residents in senior care centers, but when has state power ever stayed limited? Oh my god, just secede already, you stupid goddamn little- The Fearless Girl Statue. This isn't a new thing, but I'll get into why I'm talking about it later. I'm sure we're all familiar with the Wall Street Bull, right? Otherwise known as the Charging Bull. It was unofficially installed on December 15th, 1989, before popular demand coerced New York City officials to make it a permanent art piece. The bull symbolizes the energy, strength, and unpredictability of the people and an economy. The sculpture clearly showing the bull in motion. It's energetic, dynamic. The term bull market springs to mind of a strong economy that is growing. Under capitalism, we are all invited to ride the bull on its unstoppable charge towards prosperity. In March 7, 2017, State Street Global Advisors, also known as State Street, commissioned a statue as a marketing stunt to promote their gender-diverse index fund on the day before International Women's Day. The statue is known as Fearless Girl and has been placed facing charging bull, legs spread, arms on hips, strong, defiant, belligerent. <sighs> there is nothing about Fearless Girl that isn't a kick in the balls for anyone who is sick and tired of everything being politicized. Charging Bull represents economic strength and progress, while the Fearless Girl represents female empowerment, bravery, and strength. But look, what does this look like? What image springs to mind? There are no good interpretations or justifications for this image, or the intent thereof. One interpretation is that the display shows female empowerment and strength, as represented in the fearless girl, standing in the path of economic progress, that we must choose to either have prosperity or female empowerment. You cannot have both. Only one can stand. Is this the message that State Street Corp intended, that we could have a prosperous society but for women? I doubt it. But that's the message it stands. Great job, social justice warriors. Great job. A second interpretation is inherently anti-capitalistic and changes the meaning of the charging ball. After all, it's rampaging down the street towards the path of this brave but comparatively smaller young girl. The statement being that the charging ball that still symbolizes economic prosperity and strength is a destructive force, and it takes a girl to stop its rampage. A final interpretation is that this is a still of the last moments in the life of the dumbest girl on earth. Either way, it's clear that the emotion being evoked is that the bull must be stopped. Therefore, prosperity must be stopped. Unless you hate girls, and you don't hate girls, do you? Even if you accept and agree with the message put out by the statue, the fact is that this is a sterile marketing ploy from a financial services corporation trying to pander to social justice warriors through virtue signaling. This kind of vapid proclamation from a financial service firm to people who hate financial service firms isn't doing them any favors. Don't buy into it and call this by its proper name. Garbage. But why am I talking about this months after the statue was raised? Well, just yesterday, October 6th, the U.S. Department of Labor fined State Street Corp. $5 million. Now, why did they do this? Well... The same firm that commissioned the Fearless Girl statue, meant to represent the bravery and strength of women, is paying women less. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, the firm underpaid 305 female employees for the same work as their male counterparts. The rank hypocrisy of organizations claiming to support women, then stabbing them in the back, is endlessly amusing. For God's sake, if you have a principle, then lead by example. Otherwise, you're just proving my point about the kind of virtue-signaling little pricks that you are, and the people you're trying to pander to will never take you seriously. Keep up the good work, social justice warriors. Keep reminding us why we're all sick and tired of your crap.